Hi guys, so today is a good day. Before I start the video, I will I want to say is that quick story real quick. So months ago I applied to tour the White House in the Capitol building. And at first, I guess to do that you have to request it through your state representative. And I didn't know that. And so I did that. And I did the, everything, I did the application and everything, and it took like maybe three weeks for them to reply. And they said, it's not guaranteed. We were, we'll request it out, the dates that you want. So I did, and they did. I waited six months to at least get something, at least for both, the White House or whatever. I got response like three months ago or two months ago for the Capitol building. And then they said that they requested it already in the White House. And then whenever they requested from the White House, the visitor center in the White House messaged you. And to do that, you have to get like a, like a, um, have to do, like, it's like a link that they send you, you know, like a request form. You know, when you go on a field trip, they just want your information, your background and everything. And then they check your background. So I did that. And they said they would reply in like two or three weeks. And I was waiting and waiting for like two months. And then finally last, like on Monday, last Monday, they finally replied to me that I got confirmed for the White House in the Capitol building. I can, I'm so excited. I'm so stoked. And it's a good day. So now to the purpose of this video, my challenge is to make at least $500 in the least the two Sundays because I try to you know do on Sundays on my days off so that's my goal to at least make up to $500 for the trip can I do it I think I can all right so the first order that I got is Starbucks I was heading into town and on my way there popped up is Starbucks so and they're giving me 550 for that order so let's do this so that one took longer than expected I was there practically like 20 minutes. I guess when I got there, they were like so busy. And, which I understand. I understand that. But it's like, they seemed like they were just doing every other order that was kept coming in, you know? Kept coming in, but mine. So that was frustrating. But yeah, let me read. Let me go deliver this dog. This order. Let's get into it. Natasha Rab. Thank you. So after I got done just leaving this one, an order popped up for Myers Pets. I have to pay it with the red card. If anyone that doesn't know, it's like kind of like a debit card, but it's used to DoorDash and you just pay it for them. And then you just have to get the receipt and that's it, cause that's already paid for. And um, yeah, so it's like one item. So I'm fine with that. They're gonna, it's asking for $7. So I'm cool with that. It's not bad. Let's go pick this up. Thank you. So I'm finally back into my area that I originally wanted to go, but I keep getting those two orders closer to my house. So right when I got into the zone that they call it, um, I got, it's like a bagel place. And I figured I was gonna get a lot of like breakfast restaurants because it's still like breakfast time right now. So I got a, an order for six fifty for for a bagels restaurant, and that actually sounds like kind of good right now. But I can't eat until my break time. <sighs> so let's do this. So after leaving this order. I got an order for Popeyes for $9.30. I originally had an order for Target and wanted me to pick up like six items, but nobody has time for that. It's too much. I'm going to deny that because that takes so much time in getting potential other orders, so I'm not going to do it. So let's go pick up this order from Popeyes. And that guy was very that guy was very nice. There was like a new construction site and he, the way he explained it and everything, and he said he missed out breakfast. And one thing to say is that you guys, we gotta respect our construction workers because they're out here in the heat all day. You know, they get paid good, but it's because, you know, they're the reasons why we have all these buildings. So, proud to them and props to them. 
That's nice. And they gave me like a dollar extra. So the whole order was like $10. So I appreciate him for that. After I just delivered that, the order, an order popped up for, yeah, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, Perda, like Italian place. And they're giving me like $8 and like 60 cents. And it's like around the corner here too. So I'll pick that up real quick. Thank you. So after delivering that order at the university, I kind of got it lost. It's like a maze here. Oh shit. Um, I got an order for Charlie's Cheesecake and they're giving me for that order $5.50. So we'll see. If they give me any extra, I doubt it, but it's something. Right now I'm getting I'm close to at least $40, which is not bad because I still have like three hours to go. So I got another order combined with the first one from this like wings place. So the other order was for $3 at Buffalo Wild Wings. So together it's like $5.50 to $3.30. So together it's like what, $8? So I'm okay with that. It's like pretty much having like eight dollars per order, which is not bad. So, two orders that I just got. Thank you so much for ordering. I oh, hope you enjoy your wings. Thank you. So after I just got done picking up that order, I got an order from Taj Mahal. You know, it's like some like Indian place, and I always like getting orders from that place because. The food is so good and authentic. I always smell their food and it looks so good. And every time I come in, you can see like the buffet and everything. And I'm like, oh my God. I have never tried him, but I just said like how it looks and smells, it smells great. But with that being said, you know, every time I have to pick up orders there, they give me good size order value. So this order right now, is gonna be for $9.58. And that's a good ass order, excuse me. <laughs> that's a good order compared to other orders, you know? So. So let's go pick this up. Hope you enjoy that, thank you. So I ended up getting an order, actually two orders from the same place, from Jersey Mike's subs. I wanna sub right now, but I can't. And they're giving me, it's a little bit far out, but it's fine. They're giving me $12.98, which practically it's 13 bucks. So I'll take that. I'm up to like $55 right now, so with that, I'll be close to 70, so I'm good, I'll do it. I actually never had Jersey Mike's. I've always heard about it and everything, but I don't know if it's the same as Subway or what. Does anybody know? But I've always seen it, every time I go inside, you know, it doesn't really get my attention. But yeah, let's go pick up these orders. So, it took me a minute to get an order because I, I declined two orders. One was for this Eco Place, I think it's like a gas station. It wanted 22 items and it was asking me close to $16. And I was gonna take it, but I'm just like, I don't have time for that, you know? I'd rather just pick up something real quick and head out and deliver it to their house. Not me looking into shelves, you know what I mean? It's just too much. It'll be different if they do it and I just go pick it up from the store, but no, we have to pick it up. So that's wasting time from our shift, from you know, from getting other orders. In the meantime, that I'm looking for all the stuff in the shelves, so I'm not gonna do it. So I delete, I declined that, and then another one. It was like for four dollars. I'm like, I'm gonna decline that because I know I can get something else more. After that, I finally accepted this order from Duncan Place. It's a little bit far from where I actually live. I mean, live for where I'm delivering at right now, but it's fine. If they're giving me $7.50, I'm okay with that. It's not bad. I know it's a little far out, but it's whatever. I'd rather it take that than the $4 that they were trying to ask me for another order that I just declined. Again, guys, you guys could decline orders. Remember, you guys are the ones that are using your car, your gas money, your time. You can be picky with DoorDash and they will work with you. That's what I like about DoorDash, that they try to work with your flexibility. You know, that's a better word of saying it. So just think about that. You can decline orders. Don't think it would affect you because it really doesn't. 
hope you enjoy that drink. Thank you. So after I got done dropping those two, that order off, I ended up getting two orders back to back. And they're from like the area around here, but they ended up giving me for both items $18.25. That's freaking amazing. For me, at least. <laughs> so I'm, ex I'm happy about that. The thing that sucks about that is that the area, cause I work around here. I deliver a lot here for one, my actual job for Amazon. And um, it's so crazy here. The truck sucks. And it's so, everything's so tight and not much space. It only just sucks around here. But yeah, $18.25. Let's get this money. My door. So after declining like two or three orders of like two dollars, four dollars, I got one at least for like five five dollars and sixty cents from some like kung fu tea place. So I accepted that. Yeah, these orders were like two dollars, and I was like, no, nobody has time for that. I'm not retarded. I'm gonna accept those and get only like a dollar tip. That's even if they give me tip. I think honestly that was only the base pay. People are like so ungrateful. You know, give me at least a dollar, two dollars extra. I mean, come on, we're driving. We're taking the food to you. Be mindful of that, please. You know, some some of some people that do DoorDash actually do this full time. So like, people need to understand that. People really need to like really see how much time and effort it takes to actually make good money doing DoorDash if you don't have actual like, you know, full time nine to five job. And you know, you're using your gas, you're using your car, you know, the timing it takes to get to one place to another, it's just, it's a lot, very competitive. And these people need to understand. To not give a tip, come on, oh, homie. Oh yeah, I'm gonna pick this order up. So guys, I, it was close to three o'clock already and I did originally have that for my end time but when i tried to extend it it wouldn't let me they said there was any more any more slot slots left to continue which i which is i don't know why because i always usually get the time like lets me extend it whenever so i guess this is my cue to take a break so i dashed for four hours and like 30 some minutes and within those four hours, I made $93.35. I wanted to continue to try to make that 100 mark, but that's fine. All I need is literally like $108 to get my goal at least up over $200. And I know I could do it. You know, to this today, this week, I'm feeling okay. I did, you know, I did go to a wedding last night and got a little drunk with my friends. But, you know, I had to sleep and I'm good. I took my coffee. I'm good. So I'm feeling good about it after I eat I'm gonna feel 10 times better so after I was I'm gonna do it so I, I lace about 4 to 4 30 and then I'll start for dinner time and I'll do that until like 8 or 8 30 depending how busy it is there's times where I dash until like 9 just depending how the market is in those hours so yeah so I made $93.35 within 4 hours and 30 minutes which is not bad not bad for a Sunday so thank you so guys, I'm back. I just took a really good break that I much needed to eat something. I was starving. And then I was also planning a trip that I have coming up in the next couple weeks. I'm going, like, I'm going to Washington. So I'm doing that. So I just started now. And this first half, I mean, the second half of my shift, my goal is to get 110. And that will be at least $200 that I try to at least reach to, which I think I'm going to get it. I don't think I'm gonna, I am gonna do it. That's the attitude people need. And um, so right off the bat, when I opened the app, it gave me an order for $8.70 for this Eagle. It's like two items, that's fine with me. I get those two items and I'll head out. But that's my first order of my second half of the shift, $8.70, let's do this. got an order for five dollars at some place I've never heard of but I'll pick it up for now I guess since it's early I'm gonna do whatever I could take this time but you know above five dollars if it's under four I won't take it
after de after delivering that pizza to the guy, I had to hand it to him. He, on the notes, it kind of tell kind of said to like leave it on the floor, and I didn't really want to do that. And good thing he saw me, and then like he like uh, appreciated, you know, that I was at least caring for his order, like and he was, you know, like if he would to me. So that was nice for him to say that. And then after I delivered it, another order popped up for like five dollars at a Eagle Place. It's like a restaurant. So I'm gonna go pick that up right now. So I got a order for some like really fancy restaurant for like six dollars in downtown. I'm in downtown now. And it seems to be like very busy, but it's just too crowded and I can't. It's making me making me have anxiety, you know? see how it goes right now you know it's picking up but at the same time it's been kind of slow with at least like the amount of orders of the size of the amount you know i'm getting like six i'm getting like six dollars five dollars so we'll see maybe i can keep that going and it'll add up more but i'll take whatever i can get i just got an order that popped up after i left this order this apartments for chipotle and the offer was for six dollars cool as of right now, I'm at $121 so far. That's not including the $6 right now. So we're a good start. We're a good start. We're halfway there. We still have some time. I'm confident that I'll meet my goal today. And yeah, just keeps, I'm just going to keep having this positive energy. Because they always say when you have a negative energy, it's going to keep following you. And you're going to get what you desire. So positive, positivity all day. All day, baby. All day. So while I was picking up the Chipotle order, another order popped up for this. Um, it's like an alcohol place, pretty much. And um, it's for $9. So that's a double whammy. So I'm happy. Usually it's like they already have it real quick. You just pick it up and go. So the Chipotle was $6. And the gas station alcohol place was $9. So not bad. After I got done verifying the person's age and delivering that order to her. Another order popped up. It's called Happy Place, and they're giving me nine dollars and forty-one cents. So now we're booming. Now you can tell that it's dinner time, and like people are starting to order now, and the orders and the offers are higher now. So it's good. So I'm feeling really good right now and confident about reaching my goal. So before picking up this new order, I, I was freaking out because the first order from Chipotle, um, I was going to the direction of the house. And then the second order was literally right next to the place, apparently. So I picked up the order and then I was gonna press the direction, like to, it says go to directions to go to the house. I accidentally pressed finish. And since it was closer to the house, it automatically finished. And, and then, And then um, I started freaking out because it said it delivered and I didn't have a delivery yet. So I was like, oh my God, you know, when situations happen like that, you guys, you have to make sure you're on top of it because, you know, you might get dinked and get a violation. And sometimes they do obviously work with you because, you know, if you deliver like me, I've been delivering for almost two years now and I hardly ever get a complaint. But still, you know, that's some serious stuff that they will uh, blame you the customer and stuff and it doesn't look good when other people are trying to deliver and they see that you have violations of stealing people's food they're not gonna like that so i i was gonna hurry up to call doordash support but thank god the guy called me and i'd explained to him what was going on and he and i apologized to him and everything he was fine you know after i was explaining to him what was happening and i'm glad he called me otherwise you know we would have lost his food because or maybe they would have gave it to him i don't know but he called he called me and i got to his place and I gave it to him but yeah when stuff happens like that you guys really like be on it that really freaked me out so now I'm gonna leave this order now let's get into it now it's really going I'm gonna put gas real quick should have done it earlier but you know one gets busy I just got an order once I got back to my zone I got an order for eight dollars and it's for like a pizza place that sounds so good right now as well, but I'm tired of eating pizza. That's all I eat, but I'm a pizza guy. Can you blame me? But yes, $8 for a pizza joint. So 
So after dropping off that order, I just got another one. It's for like it's for like a gas station. The same. I have to pick up like four items. See, I don't know what it is until I arrive there. But they're giving me twelve dollars and forty six cents. I'll take that, and that's better than twenty two items that they asked me last time. And they what they were gonna give me like sixteen bucks last time, but I declined that because it's twenty two items. That's gonna take me forever. I'm gonna be there more looking and searching rather than delivering it. You know. So. Yeah, so I, I am about to pick this up for twelve dollars and forty six cents. I'll take that. So that took me a while. It was this new marketplace that they build, and I've never been to it. I ever hardly like shop for food like that. So I'm looking around like a little kid, like just lost. Had I asked a couple people where this was, it was four items, but it was like all separated. But thank God I finally got it, and we're good. Now, in the meantime that I was, during the time that I was looking for those stuff, another order popped up for Target. It's for three items, but that person wants to give me $7.56 for that order. So I decided to take that as well. It's on the way to the first house, Damien. So that could help me. Altogether, it's like 20 bucks, so I'm good. Let's go pick up that order now. So I got another shop order for CBS, and I know I usually I would not take that because it's you know wasting time, but it's eight dollars and it's actually close. I'm getting closer to my goal. I'm at eighty dollars right now for my second half shift. You know I only I only need twenty more bucks, and I still have an hour, an hour and a half to go. So I'm gonna do it. It's asking for five items for eight dollars, and it's not that far actually. It's still in my zone area. So it works out perfectly, like in case I, when I deliver it, another one could pop up right after, so I'll take that. I don't know what it is, but when it comes to like CVS or pharmacy, it's always easy to find stuff. That only took me less than two minutes to find the stuff that the, the customer wanted. But when I was in that, I got another order for Wendy's and it's $7, so I'll take it. And that's great, I'm happy. <laughs> the orders are finally coming, but I have like maybe 30 minutes to an hour left, so I'm just trying to get everything I can. Since it's still dinner time, I'm still getting like the high orders right now. So let's go, I'm not gonna stop until it ends until nine o'clock. I got this. So after realizing that those two orders that I had to deliver were from the same house. So that was at least cool for me, very convenient. And then after I just left those orders, two orders popped up from Taco Bell back to back. They were from the same restaurant. They were from the same Taco Bell, but two different houses. And then the first order was $10.22. And then the other order was six dollars, but they're all from Taco Bell, so that's good that at least I'm not gonna go home and place, you know? So badass. So guys, I got an order for the Italian restaurant. I can't say it, Parda Pita. So I think this is gonna be my last one. Once I'm done with this one, I'll say how much I made and the miles and everything that I did today in total. So, yeah, let's go get this done. It's like me done because I'm tired. I'm going. So, guys, I am finally done. I am so tired, but I'm also happy. I made my goal at least of $200. So, in total today, I made $211.05 and I dashed for eight hours and 50 minutes and I only put like $25 in gas today. So you can see how I kind of make a profit doing DoorDash no matter what day I do. So good. So my goal, the purpose of this video is because I'm trying to get $500 in the next two, I mean like the two Sundays, this Sunday and the next Sunday because I go to Washington the, the following Sunday, not this weekend, but the following weekend. 
and I want to use that money for at least, you know, because I'm only going to be there for the weekend. I don't think I'm going to spend much because, you know, the monuments in Washington are usually free. It's just, you know, the food, the souvenirs and going out and stuff, the one that's going to cost you a little bit. So, yeah, so I made $211. So if you minus that 500 minus that, five, minus the 211, it's 285 plus 95, 95 cents. So I think I can make that 285 see if because i might do it i might do this again on tuesday so we'll see how if i don't work at all and i'm actually definitely gonna make it might meet might even go over so so yeah so it was a good day it was really a good sunday i made my goal and i just want to say thank you guys for watching if you guys like the video and the content that i made please like and subscribe it really does help me and motivate me and also i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers because that's what really starts helping me to make income on this so i really appreciate it guys and again like and subscribe if you guys like my content that would really appreciate me so thank you very much have a good night